Hello, I'm Yevhenia Anastasia Rudik. I'm a member of Junior Academy of Sciences of Ukraine. The topic of my project is logistics of COVID-19 emergency patients distribution to hospitals. <laughs> Nowadays, there are more than 19.3 million COVID-19 infestation accidents. Pandemic situation is getting worse because number of infestation accidents is increasing. So it is important to investigate the most efficient methods and strategies of fighting against coronavirus. The goal of the work is to investigate the features of boundary lines between hospitals' gravity zones. Overall, there are three financial coverage classical models of health care systems. In the Samashkas model, financial coverage is generally made by government budget. In beverage model, by citizens, organizations and enterprises. In Bismarck's model, by insurance system. In every system, the most efficient ways of logistics should be used. The problem that appears is where to distribute and to treat COVID-19 patients, which way would be cheaper. The input parameters are the first average treatment cost for one patient in the first hospital, P second average treatment cost for one patient in the second hospital, Q first and Q second transportational cost for one patient to the hospital per one kilometer, D first and D second distance from the center of the zone to the first and the second hospital, M distance between hospitals, R zone radius. On the slide you can see characteristic parameters. It also should be noted that in the research generalized polar coordinate system was used. Equation of boundary line and equation for gravity zone were investigated. Depending on different ratio between input parameters, boundary line can be Cartesian oval, Pascal Limacoan, Hyperbola branch, Apollonis circle, or medial perpendicular. Numerical experiments for every case were provided. On the slide, you can see my references. In the research, Boundary lines and gravity zones of different types were investigated. This research can be used for efficient logistics of COVID-19 emergency patients distribution to hospitals.